Kürvöcü. Thank you, sir. That was a very fascinating and enlightening address by you. Can I now request Sri Parandikar to take us forward with a small panel discussion and then Q&A after that? I uh, don't have much to add after we have seen the film and a very detailed uh, explanation from Honorable Sharad Pawarji. I'll just bring to your notice a few strands uh, in that Baramati model of development, which are interdependent and also mutually reinforcing, and how they have converged uh, to produce the spectral of uh, development in the town, you have all seen. I would only highlight the role of uh, leadership in that, because uh, leadership which is vision, will, and it inculcates modern technology into the whatever efforts that are being made, plus inclusion, innovation, that kind of leadership motivates the community to participate in all the development process. I was personally uh, associated with setting up of the MIDC in Baramati, also the integrated road development project which has really given an urban look to the city of Baramati. And similar pro projects have been implemented elsewhere, but this is a unique example where the community came forward to work with the government agencies and see what best benefits the community can derive rather than obstructing by taking out murcha, dharnas, or saying no land acquisition and obstructing the development of these projects, in, which is the spectacle in many parts of the country. None of that happened in Baramati, and therefore, I can say that they have reaped the maximum benefits, but who communicate, uh, who motivates the communities to behave in this fashion? And there, I think, uh, the role of uh, leadership is uh, of great importance, and it has played a very important role in that entire model. And what is the future is also a question. I think <coughs> the entire revolution or development process started with enriching agriculture, horticulture, floriculture, value addition, industrial development, urban development, and also supported by education. Baramati has today become an education hub. We somehow don't consider education as an industry. But I grew up in that town. When I went to school, the entire population of the town was nearly 15,000. Today, the student population of educational institutions in and around Baramati is four times that figure. So you can see uh, the change that education has brought out. And it's not just multiplying the normal education, but taking it to a higher level, moving it a notch further all the time and keeping pace with the times and therefore you have IT school and BT school and aviation academy and so on and so forth. To my mind, the future uh, definitely lies in the trained manpower, highly educated and trained manpower, which is going to be very restless and it is going to move in a different direction and it will be mainly IT and BT driven. That is what my guess is. But uh, I'm grateful to <laughs> Mr. Nevatia and Fiki to give us, uh, give me an opportunity to share this experience with. Thank you.